What's up, Mama Cat? All right, you guys, listen, man. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on over there. As you guys can see, I'm trying to clean up yard a little bit, get everything pretty much gone. Um, I moved the puppy playpen. I took it out, threw it in the trash. Don't need it anymore. But I kept this one because I'm thinking about, thinking about, I haven't decided just yet. I'm thinking about getting an XL bully. I've been thinking about it. Please, that don't mean, don't, that don't mean get in my DMs and send me all your XLs you got for sale. I said I'm thinking about it. I haven't made the decision yet, so I am not currently looking for XL. I'm thinking about getting XL. And if I do, he'll go right in there. Um, but I got rid of the puppy play pen. Um, big things coming to the cat, you guys. So, the dog house. I don't know if you guys watched. I think I cut like two months ago, a month ago, I did announce that I will be selling the dog house. Um, it is already sold. It's already been sold. Um, the guy, he's coming from out of state to pick it up. They say he comes from Alabama. Um, uh, it's either leaving within a matter of a week or it could be two to three weeks. He haven't really gave me a specific date yet, but within a week or two or three weeks. Um, he said he breed like, he breed dogs too, but he breeds small, small dogs like shit zoos and you know, palm rain and stuff and he want to use it for that. Um, but this is my problem, you guys. I don't know what I should do. So I think what I'm gonna do, right, for the time being, I'm gonna put the dogs back in the garage for about a month. I haven't decided yet. That's why I need y'all help you too. Y'all tell me what y'all think I should do. So I'm gonna be moving in about four to seven months. I'm gonna be moving within that time frame, four to seven months. So the dog house, you guys know the dog house I really wanted. I really took a loss, let me be honest with y'all. I took a major loss because the dog house itself was about $8,000, $9,000. Cool. Pay eight, nine bands for the doghouse, right? The, um, me doing the inside and materials and everything, I paid about 4,500. So that right then and there is about 13, 14,000 dollars, right? Then I paid 1,500 just to get all the electricity inside the shed. So then right there, I'm at about 15,000 dollars. I really took a loss because it's, the doghouse I actually wanted you guys was, I wanted to get a concrete slab made. I wanted to get a concrete slab made and I wanted to get a doghouse kind of like a garage where it has a, it's on a concrete uh, concrete slab get the floor epoxy I want to get the floor epoxy with like my logo on the middle of the floor where it says CB Kennel in the epoxy I don't want it to be just straight concrete I want it to be epoxy on the floor and um I wanted to get a bigger dog house and you know what's crazy I did I've been doing some research the last couple weeks I ran across a guy this shit is a 10 by 24 right I ran across a guy who gave me an amazing deal on exactly what I wanted and he said he's going to do everything, and it's going to take him about three weeks, right? Take him about three weeks. For everything, the shed, the concrete flooring, not the epoxy, just the shed and the concrete flooring, he told me $7,500. You cannot beat that. Like, that is an amazing price. Way less than what I paid for this. And this shed, this, so this shed is a 10 by 24. The shed I got a quote for was a um, 16 by 27. So it's bigger. It's wider and it's longer. So, but I haven't really decided, you guys. I haven't decided. Should I go ahead and just, so I think he said for the shed, it's like 4,500. I think he said for the shed, it's like 5,000. And then it's like 2,000 for the concrete slab. But my thing about all this, where I don't understand this, or what I don't know what I should do is this. Since I'm gonna be moving within the next four to seven months, should I just spend the 2,000, get the concrete fund done? Like, or I can just add to that. As you guys know, I got the concrete. Come on, I'm going to show you guys. You guys know I got the concrete slab over here already. So, like, I don't know what should I do. I don't know if I should just add to this concrete slab and make it bigger. And just put the doghouse here, cut this tree, make it here. Because when I do move, I can take the doghouse with me. He told me he will come um, move it for me for free. Your opinion on how would you do it. But, I mean, the thing of it all is this, you guys. I'll be pretty much just throwing away $2,000. Because think about it. If you make the concrete slab for me, when I move, I can't take the concrete slab with me. It's gonna have to stay here. You see what I'm saying? So that just means when I leave, I'm gonna have to get another concrete slab made for $2,000. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I can take my doghouse with me, but the concrete slab gotta stay. So it's like, I don't know, should I just keep the dogs in the garage or in the house? until I move and just get content with the dogs outside? Or should I 
go ahead and just spend two thousand dollars, get the doghouse made for seventy five hundred, and just you know, not throw away two thousand dollars. Well, pretty much throw away two thousand dollars and get another concrete slab made. Y'all comment down below. What would y'all do? Cause I don't, I don't know, man. You feel me? I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I really don't know. I, I can't really. Doja, stop. Come here. I can't really decide, you guys. But this doghouse gonna be leaving. New doghouse coming. And I'm not gonna lie, man. I really, I really beat myself up because what I spent in this doghouse, I could have spent less and got exactly what I wanted. Seventy five hundred compared to the other fifteen thousand dollars. Like, bro, I just <laughs> one thing about dog world, man. Just before you do certain things, shop around. Don't be like me and just spend money just cause you want it. Don't do that. Cause that's dumb. Um, but I ain't decided. Like I said, what I'm gonna do. But this out because I really want what I want. Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When we have to clean this, bro, it takes a while. It takes between an hour to two hours to clean this. But if I had the, the setup I wanted with the concrete floor and with the epoxy on the floor, all I got to do, because he told me, he was like, what I'll do is I'll slant your concrete a little bit. So my concrete, the concrete slab he built, it won't be even. It'll be slanted just a little bit. So when I skeet it with the water hose, just like I used to do the garage when dogs in the garage, I skeet the water hose, all the water come down. He'll put a drain outside. Skeet it all out. It'll come here. Put some rails in the concrete, so all the, all the poop and pee will go straight down. They won't stay in one spot because the concrete will be slanted. So it'll go down in the concrete. I mean, it'll, it'll all fall down the rails and go in the drains. Um, and it'll be easier because I won't have to mop. I mean, yeah, I can get a mop, but I can just keep the water hose. It'll be way instead of it'll take a it'll turn a two hour job into maybe forty five minutes. You see what I'm saying? Because I'd be out here for a while cleaning these puppy these dogs, man. Because and then I'm gonna go back to this right here. For the ones who don't know, I'm going back to these gates. When I do get my new uh, dog house, I'm going back to these. I'm not doing the kennels anymore. I'm going back to these. Um, I'll probably get the shorter ones. It's probably about here, but I'm definitely going back to these. I probably, I don't know. I have, I got a, a little by little semi vision. I probably go one side with these, maybe like six kennels, and then on the opposite side, I will probably go dog stackable dog cages. What y'all think? Should I go all these kennels on both sides? Or these kennels on one side and stack up a dog cage on the other side. But the epoxy flooring, I think that's gonna be kind of expensive, but I, I want it. Like I really want it. And you gotta take care. Always remember, take care of what take care of you, man. These dogs take care of me, so I'm gonna make sure I take care of these dogs. Um, and I wanna make sure they're comfortable, happy, um, and just feeling good. So I'm gonna make sure I put everything back into them that they give me and that they bless me with. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, man, that's one of the little dilemmas I've been trying to deal with the last couple weeks. Because when the dog house leaves, the dogs got to go in the garage or the house somewhere. They got to go somewhere. And that's not the major problem. The major problem is trying to figure out, should I just wait to get the dog house? Or should I go ahead and just spend a 2000 get the concrete slab made? And then when I move, get a new concrete slab made. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But right now, you guys, um, but later, I'm, I didn't clean the yard up, cut the grass. I put they pool back right here because it's been hot. Next video, we're gonna have a, a water date with the bullies. Water date. Next video, we're doing a water date with the bullies. We doing a I'm telling you guys right now. Next video, we're doing a water day with the bullies. We're gonna get, we're gonna put um, we got this right here. We're gonna put some water in that. We got the pools, we're gonna put the puppies in the pools, we're gonna put the bully, the big bullies in here, let them all get wet, get them wet with the water holes. Let them have fun in the sun with the water, you guys. That's the next video, you guys. That is the next video. Right now, I got the possible pregnant females up. I got Sasha. Sasha, come on. Doja Cat, get up, man. You got Doja Cat, you guys know. Everybody, for the ones who are new to my channel and don't know, Juicy, this is Juicy's mom. My Doja Cat is Juicy's mom. She was bred to Juice. Um, I re repeated that breeding, so I'm excited for that. Hopefully, she took. She got bread to juice. This she's Busachi blood. Oh, you guys, by the way, man, I got an amazing deal for y'all. I have an amazing deal for you guys. Amazing deal. You guys know I'm getting rid of some of the bulls. I got a great deal for you, man. If you're trying to invest and you're trying to get a female that's quality, a producer, I got Mama Cat, you guys. Sorry, back. let me see Mama Cat. Mama Cat! Y'all probably can't see it, but we gonna, I'm going to get y'all some footage of Mama Cat so y'all can see Mama Cat. Man, I got a crazy deal on Mama Cat right now, you guys. Crazy deal. I'm asking 
for Mama Cat. Mama Cat is a direct beef daughter. Look at her. Direct beef daughter. Her and Doja Cat are twins. Literally, her and Doja Cat are twins. They look just like full tail, compact, fish, muscle, everything, you guys. I'm asking $3,500. Um, $3,500. And guess what, you guys? She comes with a free juice stud credit. Free. Not a call, none of that. You buy her, I give you a free juice stud credit. So $3,500, free juice stud credit. Um, and she come back in heat in two months. You got to think about it. They prayed it for two months. Her puppies in the house are three months old. That's five months. So she's back in heat within a month. I just say, I like to say two, but it should be a month because she's pregnant for two months. Pups in the house, three months old. That's five months. They come in heat every six months. So it should be a month, but I'm going to say two. So it's literally a quick flip, man. Quick flip. All you got to do is pay for $3,500. You get a female. Definitely a quick flip. That's what I call it. A quick flip. You're spending $3,500 to possibly make, you know, whatever you're going to make. And me personally, I started those pups out at 4,500. So, and I'm not saying you can sell them for the same as I do because, you know, I got a name that come with me, but you can damn sure come close to it. You know, you a double, you a, I know for a fact, you should be able to triple, triple your money. If you know what you're doing, you should at least be able to triple your money. And the more pups you get, the more money you should be able to make. But mama catch you guys, go ahead and so they can see it. And listen, you guys, she is mobile. She run too. Mama Cat, come on, Mama Cat. She is mobile. None of that lazy stuff. She will run. Mama Cat, come on. Come on, Mama Cat. She is mobile, full tail. Direct beef daughter. Let me see, can I stack up, man? She probably won't stack up. Let me see. Come on, Mama Cat. And she's super short, you guys. Mama Cat is super short. Come on, Sasha, stop. Full tail. Come on, Sasha. As you guys can see, hun, y'all know how Doja, how small Doja is. Hun and Doja, they're not the same. Come on, Doja. Mama cat. Stop. Oh my God, these dang dogs. I guess they ready to go in. Get in my DMs if you're interested. They go on my Instagram. Email me if interested, 3,500, full breeding rights. I don't want no pumps back, and she come with a free juice stud credit. So anybody that's smart, think about it, 3,500, and you got a whole breeding for 3,500. So think about it. It's always about what you're willing to invest to your future or what you're willing to invest to make money. It's a quick flip. Um, also, I got sugar housing. You know that? Juice. I mean, I juice with you. Got that boy Uzi with his mama. Y'all tired? What's up? Eh? Snow. Come on, Snow. Come on, mama. Snow, we'll get you a bath day next video. Come on. Come on, Snow. Come on, Snow. Come on, Snow. What's up, dude? I'll get you a bath day, Snow. You dirty. What the heck, man? You should have been brown, man. You so white and dirty. Let's that snow. Let's that snow. 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 Look at the snow. Yeah, my name is Snow. Yeah, my name is Snow. Come on, Snow. Come on, Snow. What's up, man? Yeah, my name is Snow, and I'll bite you. I'll bite you. Name ain't lie. I always remember to where to get next level puppies. Foundational puppies is to have a bad bitch. I always remember that. I got plenty of bad bitches over here at CB Kennel. We got plenty of bad bitches. Mama Cat. Mama Cat don't got no Easty West. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Let me go ahead and get a right, and I'm gonna come back to y'all in the Guys, front. so Mama Cat is stacked up, man. Full tail. None of the, see? None of that sway back shit. None of that high reel. Perfect top line. Compact. Thick. Y'all see that? Get on, get on. Let me see them from the side. Look at that chest frame, chest spread. Y'all see that? Yeah, Check them out. Let them spin that around one more time. Spin that around one more time so they can see us. Spin that around one more time so they can see us. And y'all want to see how big she is? Why not? Y'all want to see how tall she is? Hey, y'all go. Y'all want to see how tall? Matter of fact, you know, 
Let me pull my shoe out. Size nine shoe. Size nine shoe. Size nine. Y'all see that? Come on, man. Quality female. Y'all know I don't like that easty westy shit where the feet go outward. Clean feet, nice shoulders, full tail. 3,500, you guys. Tap in, man. All right, you guys. So I'm about to clean these dogs, right, man? I just want to let y'all see something. This is how I know all them girls, too. This is Sasha's bowl. And look at her bowl. Y'all see that? Look at my uh, Doja Cat bowl. So this is how I know them girls, too. Look at this. Even, even sugar, like... They're not eating at all. That's how I know all these girls took. And when I confirm, I confirm them in about two weeks. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like, and I got a surprise for y'all when I confirm them. I got something crazy that I'm gonna tell y'all after I confirm them. But I'm gonna confirm them first, and then I'm gonna let you guys know um, something crazy. Y'all gonna be like, dang, for real, Tommy? But listen, that's how I know these girls took. That's how I know. I just know my females, bro. You feel me? Like, I just know my females. I know my females. That's how I know they took it. But I'm going to go ahead and get these dogs clean, man. I'm going to come at y'all in a little bit. All right, you guys. Quick one. To me. Everybody that got clean water, clean food. Lotto. Juice and Doja Cat daughter. And we got that boy Plies. Plies, oh. you know, sexy red. Juice and Billie Jean daughter. Sugar and black is black, son. Black is black and sugar, son. Juice and um, a hoppo, son. Doja Cat, the, the boy in the back, the Merle boy. YB, son. YB and uh, back up, y'all. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We'll go through the top. Over there, we got YB. We got YB and Doja Cat, son. Wow, I'm tripping. I forgot I can just open the front of it. I be tripping sometimes, y'all. I be tripping. Hey, man, listen, y'all comment down below. Like, how y'all feel about that Merle, man? Like, how y'all feel about Merle in general? Like, are y'all big fans of Merle's? Or, like, like what's y'all favorite color bull? Comment down below. What's your favorite color bull? Is it Merle? Is it lilac? Is it tri? Is it chocolate? Um, Brendel? Like, comment down below, man. All of these boys are sold. They're not available. We got different color murals, right? I had to get in the Merle game. I know I said I was gonna never get in the Merle game, but man, you're gonna have to catch up and get left, man. You feel me? Catch up and get left. That's the Merle wave, you know what I'm saying? Up and coming right now. Get out with the get out. Oh, she finally eating, you guys. Finally. You finally eating, mama? You so dirty. I gotta take your bag. You dirty as hell, girl. <laughs> Give me some food. Can I get some food? Can I get some food? I ain't gonna lie to hurt myself, boy. You get hurt out here with these dogs, boy. Ain't nothing but a little blood. That's it. Ain't nothing too major. I know she took. Also, you guys, comment down below. We got that girl. I spy. Y'all see the back walls? They done tore up all the back walls back there, bro. Like, they done just been chewing the back wall. I spy so small, man. It's crazy man look at ice spice bread boy yes sir ice spice what 10 11 months almost a year you know girl spread man when i say small oh, let me you know what let me grab something let me grab something so y'all can see how small ice spice really is man let me grab something so y'all can see how small ice spice really is man huh uh huh Peroxide bottle, man. Vim peroxide bottle. Just so y'all can know, get a, a you know, what I'm saying a perception of how small she is. Peroxide bottle. I, I should use this. Let me see. I got my trophies. I got trophies here. Well, that's juice trophy. Best bully, big head. That's juice right there. That's juice trophy. And this one was juicy's trophy. So this juicy's trophy, and that's juice trophy. They won first place. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Lotto, I'm gonna say it again. Lotto was the tallest. One. Lotto was the tallest one, bro. Literally. Let me, I'm gonna give y'all. Let me let me do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this, so y'all can have a better perception. Cause I did say, I did say that Ice Spice was shorter than Lotto, 
so y'all can have an example of still how short she is. So y'all seen uh, Ice Spice next to the peroxide bottle, right? So let me show y'all real quick. Ice Spice is shorter than Lotto, right? So that's her next to the peroxide bottle, right? Which is a little bit taller. All right, so let me put these two next to each other so y'all can see these two, right? Put these two next to each other so y'all can see just the difference. It ain't too much of a difference on these two, you guys see? So this was Ice Spice next to the peroxide bottle. Now I'm gonna do Lotto. Lotto maybe, maybe like two inches taller than her. Let me show you guys. Come on, Lotto. And Lotto was the tallest one out of literally, guys. Literally. Lotto was the tallest one. Y'all see that? Lotto was the tallest one out of the whole litter. Out of the juice and those cat litter, Lotto was the tallest one, bro. And y'all can still see, and y'all can still see how short she is with her to have been the tallest one out of the litter. With her have been the tallest one. She's still short. Lotto, I'm, I'm gonna start measuring my dogs, man. I'm gonna get me a. I'm gonna go to the house and get me a, a ruler, man. So y'all think I'm gonna be capping. Y'all think I'd be capping. So I would say Lotto is like a nine inch, eight inch. I would say Lotto is like a nine inch. You gotta think about it though. The difference between Lotto, oh, I'm tripping. The difference between Lotto, you guys, Lotto is micro, right? But Ice Spice is nano. That's the difference though. Ice Spice is nano. She's a nano. Ice Spice is a deaf nano. So y'all see how small Ice Spice is? She's a nano. That's the difference between her and Lotto. Ice Spice is a nano female. But, you know. So I would say Ice Spice is maybe around six inches and Lotto is maybe around like eight or nine. I would say Lotto around like eight or nine inches. Yeah, she around like eight or nine inches, something like that. But again, this was the tallest one either. So this is going to show you for the ones who didn't get to see so this is going to show you guys, for the ones who never got to see Juicy in person and got to see how small Juicy really was, I'm going to say it one more time so you can get a clear understanding. Lotto was the biggest one, the tallest one out of the litter, of, out of Juicy, in, uh, out of Doja Cat and Juicy. She was the biggest one. And she only six at well, about eight or nine inches. So y'all do the math. That's just going to show you. So I want to say Juicy was maybe an inch. Maybe maybe Juicy was probably about an inch shorter. Um, also, I think Juicy and my kennel partner, Luke, female, was the same high size. And um, the blue female from the litter, she was maybe like just a tad bit shorter than Lotto. But Lotto was definitely the tallest one. And even Lotto, she's small. So that just goes to show you, you know, that Juice and those cat really hit, bro. You feel me? That shit really hit. I can look at it and see, man. I'm gonna get a tape measure out here and I'm gonna measure these bulls for y'all. But that's one thing about Juice. He gonna, he gonna put girth and thickness on your puppies, man. Ain't that crazy, y'all? Comment down below. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to say, man? Like, for real, for real. She was the tallest one out of the little, but she's still small. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. 